Happy Easter weekend. Welcome back to Simple and Delicious. I thought I would bring you guys along for <laughs> my Easter prep. I am cooking right now. So I actually started last night, boiled all of my eggs, did most of my grocery shopping. I had to pick up a few things today. We are hosting Easter here. So I am starting with desserts and then I'm gonna move on to deviled eggs and I am making corn. I think that's it. So not too much. We are doing the meat and the meat will be done tomorrow. So we're doing leg of lamb and pork chops and we're also doing hot dogs for the kids. So what you saw me making was a coconut cream cake. Super easy, basically like a poke cake. I made a gluten-free one and then I made a regular one. It's just a yellow cake mix. I added almond. I am toasting coconut right now. I will bake the cake, poke holes, pour cream of coconut on top and then tomorrow I will add the um, whip topping, sorry, Cool Whip, and then the toasted coconut. So it'll be really, really delicious, super easy, great summery spring dessert, super fresh tasting and major crowd pleaser. So then after I get that done, I've been working on laundry. I'm gonna straighten the house, clean the floors, spruce up the bathrooms, do all the things. And it's almost four o'clock. <laughs> so it has been a crazy day so far. I took our little mama cat to the vet this morning um, and got her checked out. She does have some issues. So she's taking a antibiotic and um, yeah, so she'll be hopefully feeling better soon. She was, if you haven't heard, she was a cat we inherited with our new house. So we are trying to take care of her and get her up to speed on everything. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. Excited to pop for Easter. I plan to pick some fresh flowers from my yard, make some bouquets for the table. Oh, there's so much to do, so let's go. All right, so I have the gluten-free here, the regular here, and my coconut is toasting nicely, so I need to kind of move that around a little bit. Wow, that browned really fast. A little browner than I would have liked. So I'm going to give it a good, sorry, didn't even have the camera on it. I actually think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to toast it anymore. I'm just going to let it sit here on the hot pan and that will be good enough for tomorrow to top my cake with. So I'm going to let my cakes bake for about... 28 minutes and then poke them let them cool 
I will be adding this Real Gourmet Cream of Coconut. Super easy, you just squeeze it on top. Tomorrow, like I said, I'll top it with Quip and this delicious coconut. You should smell it in here. It smells amazing. just spread it on evenly so I will let these cool and these will go in the fridge and tomorrow I'll ice them and then put the toasted coconut and that is it now I need the most bizarre list of things. I need cat food, tablecloths, soda, Rolos, and I was gonna look at the ferns. It's not hilarious. So I'm gonna run in really quick, grab it. I just and went into my yard and picked some beautiful flowers for my centerpieces <clears throat> for at least two tables. I'll show you some of the ones that I picked. Oh my goodness, I have so many gorgeous flowers. Um, so I might have to get a few more. I'm not really sure. These little purple ones. Got a few of those. Lots of daffodils. I got some small ones and some large ones. Check out this daffodil. Let me find it. I have some of these yellow with orange. Those are absolutely gorgeous. And then this one is white or cream with peach. That's probably my favorite. So I am going to put these together and make a couple bouquets for our Easter meal tomorrow. So I will bring you guys along for that.
Okay, so I just polished my floors. I do use a Norwex mop um, on a regular basis, but if I want to polish my floors, I use the Method Wood Floor Cleaner in the Almond Scent. Um, and then I just have this washable Libman mop um, that I just run over and that gives it a really nice glow, gives it a really nice shine. Let me show you really quick. You can kind of see it kind of just makes it look refreshed. It looks super orange on camera, but it just gives it a really nice shine. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this get ready for Easter video with me. It was so fun to film. Um, I'm enjoying my new home and enjoying homemaking and all the things that go with that. I hope you guys are doing well and I look forward to talking to you soon. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will be back very soon. Bye everyone.